I used to be a chronic migraine sufferer for more than 10 years and the solution that I discovered led me to co-found Sepalika. Initially, I used to be into allopathic treatment, but somehow it never worked for me because I felt that it didn't address my root cause. It was only when I met my co-founder Mahesh Jairaman that he told me that in my case, low levels of two vitamins, D3 and B12, were what were triggering headaches in my case. Now, why would something as simple as vitamins lead to such a major problem and for so many years? Certain parts of our brain, called as the hypothalamus, contain vitamin D receptors. So anytime your body is deficient in vitamin D3, it means that there is a, your brain health is getting impacted, which could actually trigger the pain in your case. Vitamin D3 is also very important for controlling inflammation levels in our body and high levels of inflammation are a big trigger for migraine headaches. Migraine headaches are a neurological disorder, which means that your nervous system has been affected. And one of the big components of nerve health or maintaining nerve health is vitamin B12. So if you're someone who is deficient or, insuffic or suffic insufficient in vitamin B12, you're likely to be a candidate for someone whose headache is being triggered by B vitamin B12 deficiency. The most important point that I want to make through this video is what happens with a blood test reports or very often people like me didn't get a correct blood test report analysis, which is what led me to continue to suffer with this headache for years and years. Let's just look at a blood test report. Now, if you can see a report like this, you will see that what a lab shows are something called um, deficiency levels and something called sub insufficiency or sufficiency levels. So in case of D3, they tell you anything less than 20 units means that you're deficient in D3 and anything less than 211 units means you're deficient in B12. Now, what I find is that most doctors or medical therapists will not prescribe a vitamin D supplement if they find that your vitamin levels are, you know, in the 20s or above 25, because to them, that's sufficient. Similarly, an identity, you know, a corresponding number for vitamin B12. And that's where the problem arises. Because the numbers or the limits that you see in a blood report are what are minimum numbers below which you need to get into a hospital. In our case, we're not talking about hospitals, we're talking about maintaining optimal health or in my case, and in somebody, if you're somebody who's suffering from migraine, we want to get rid of the headache. In such cases, levels of vitamin just above the deficiency levels are not adequate at all. I needed some Y vitamin D3 to go up to levels of 50. It was only then did my headache go away. Now, is that 50 number same for you? Perhaps not. The number is determined by your health history and by your lifestyle, which is what we do at Sepalika because every client who comes to us, the first thing we begin with is a blood test report analysis. And we do that along the principles of functional medicine, which actually gets to looks at reports, not for hospitalization levels, but for maintaining optimal health. So my advice to you is to get your blood test report read by somebody who knows these advanced, you know, blood chemistry analysis and therefore knows when to prescribe vitamins to you, especially if these vitamins or deficiency of these vitamins are causing your headache.